I was saved when I was um, five. My mother led me to the Lord. At this point, I cannot remember when I was baptized. When the f church was first organized, we didn't have any sides to it. And we had old plank benches, and we had a stove that went out the top so we wouldn't get cold. He'd just line us up on that old plank bench. We grew up not only in church, but we was taught church outside the church. The pastor we had was Brother Jack Power, and he came to my mother. I was never as scared in my life. I was 17 years old when I took a class of junior boys. Well, it was quite an experience, but you know God helped me through that. I guess about three years later, I took a class, first and second grade, and I stayed with that for 76 years. Loved every minute of it. Whenever you get up there to teach, sometimes I was lost for words. And I just said, now Lord, here I am. You got to use me some way, somehow. And it usually always turned out real good. Whenever Jim Gage got sick, he said, you know, Neil, I haven't forgot that Sunday school yet. I said, well, I hope you don't. I said, I hope I've done you a little good. When Brother Johns came, they changed the name. Oh, it's been changed many, many times. Oh, yeah. But it hasn't made me want to go or change anything. We always go forward. Never look back because God is there for us. My husband was instrumental. He and Brother Leonard Rose in finding the land that the old church sat on when we moved to Cornerstone. We were together 58 years and we certainly served the Lord all that time. The Lord's blessed me with two beautiful children, family. I led my grandboys to the Lord, gave them the plan of salvation. Did J.C. the same thing. We had went to church on Wednesday night, and Michelle said, Mimi, J.C. wants to talk to you. I said, and I thought to myself, well, what on earth is she going to talk to me about? And we got in here, and she said, Mimi, I want to be saved. Well, boy, you talk about a blessing. It's a blessing to get to witness to somebody. And till this day, I want to serve him. I don't want to give up. Not till Jesus says, Nail, it's enough, let's go home. But I don't want to. I want to stay as long as I can. Because, I mean, I, I enjoy living. We have a wonderful God. I, I don't know how some people live without him. I couldn't. I pray before I go to bed. I pray when I get up in the morning. And it's not any harm to carry a prayer on your lips all the time. But you know, the good Lord never changes. We do. God doesn't. God doesn't. He's not the author of confusion. No way. I don't believe that. <laughs>